Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy. Today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2022. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create this basic bouncy overshoot animation. Let me show you how to do it in Adobe After Effects CC 2022. Okay, so my composition is 1920 by 1080 pixels, 30 frames per second, five seconds in duration. So here I just have a logo layer and I'm just gonna align it to the center of the composition. We are gonna be animating the position property. So I'm gonna select the logo layer and tap on P for position. I'm gonna drag the playhead out to the two second mark. This is where I want the animation to end. I want the logo to end right in the center. So I'm just gonna click the stopwatch next to position to create a keyframe. I'm gonna drag the playhead back to the very beginning. I want the animation to start with the logo at the very top. So I'm just gonna click, I'm gonna hold the shift key to make sure I drag up in a straight line and I'm just gonna drag up the logo until I can't see it. And if I tap the space bar to preview, this is what the animation looks like so far. Pretty boring. With the logo layer selected, I'm gonna drag the playhead out to the one second mark or 30 frames ahead. Then I'm gonna click in the Y position, that's the up and down values, and I'm just gonna type in 750. So it starts at the top, it's gonna go past the center and down lower in the composition. So with the play ahead at the second keyframe at the one second mark, I'm just gonna move ahead 15 frames. I'm gonna click on the Y value and enter in 350. Now, if I drag the play ahead back to the beginning, you see the logo starts at the top, comes below the center, above the center, and then back to the center. And if I hit the space bar to preview, this is what the animation looks like. A basic bouncy overshoot animation. And now let's put on the finishing touches. First, select all the keyframes. You can drag out a selection or the bonus tip. If you just click on the word position or any property that has keyframes, when you click on the property, it will automatically select all of the keyframes on the timeline for that property. With all of the keyframes selected, right click or control click on any keyframe, go to keyframe assistant and select easy ease or use the must know keyboard shortcut F9. That will easy ease the keyframes and you can tell when there's easy ease when you see the hourglass on the keyframes. And the last thing we'll do is click on the motion blur, then click on motion blur for that layer. Go back to the beginning Press the space bar to preview, and now you have a basic bouncy overshoot animation in Adobe After Effects CC 2022. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.